So guys, right. we're, today's... Uh, Are we doing this? <laughs> we're doing this. We're doing this. Shit, uh, we're doing this the way we always in. do things. Um, um, we're coming in hot. No, we're not coming in hot. No, we're we're, last time we were really hot, but uh, this time we're not hot. We're actually kind of excited. So um, there's, there's something that... Um, so we've been doing some work with there are kind of two partners that we give love a, a lot. Give Elisa right? and give uh, um, you know Aaron and Lindsay a shout out. Yeah, so, so, so we out. love we love the CHFA guys, the Canadian Health Food Association, <clears throat> Aaron Skelton, Lindsay, Randy, the team. They're just amazing awesome. people, and we do amazing things. Um, we've just come off doing uh, CHFA um, uh, West with them, and uh, for us, it was. I think Fantastic. we're still tired. It was fantastic. fantastic. I think we're still tired. Yep. Um, and we are prepping to do some work with Elisa Hutton and the BC Food and Beverage guys now. And Sumner. And, and Sumner. We love Sumner. Sumner, we didn't leave you out. And and what we did, what we've done with them before is how to think about SEO in layman's terms, how to, you know, kind of run your business and incorporate SEO in everything you do. Um, we're we're we are next week going to be hosting a webinar with them on how to build content and a content calendar that drives SEO. Um, so it's kind of like the next piece, right? So it's the next level of how you think about search engine optimization, how do you target keywords, and then how do you incorporate that in your normal everyday marketing slash communication life um, that starts to drive you, you know, kind of critical organic content that you need to be able to grow your business um did i say anything too fancy there no i understood that okay this is it's not even it's like it's it's like you know seo for dummies or seo for venucci one of the two because well, that's how i usually have to because yeah. does it and i understand it <laughs> it's going to be understood kenny is my my seo whisper because sometimes i do i i go a little bit off and then kenny gives me that look so i'm just checking to make sure no, I'm i good. didn't I... no we're all good we're all good to go we're all good to go <laughs> so so um We'll, we'll leave the sign up link below. So transparently is either one, you need to be a BC food and Bev member. Um, and so you can sign up that way. Or if you're a non-member, I think it's $20 to get in. Um, I'd like to think that we're going to give you way more than $20. It's peanuts for what I think you're going to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Forget so, if it's us or not. Like, yeah. If someone else presented yeah. this, I would tell you to go. Yeah. So, so we, we're kind of stoked because we, what we are going to, talk about in this is one how important it is to own your own message um so um it's it's really really important to kind of know what your trigger points are what your um, unique selling props are what your messages are and then to be able to build your calendar from there um really makes a lot of sense right like what you see a lot of that will tell you not to do is you can do it the way everybody else does it or the way everybody else says to do content, which is to take a calendar and go after um, Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day, May 2-4 weekend, um, Easter, uh, Boxing Day, Christmas, right? May Halloween, the May the 4th, all, like all know, these, it's all, all the national ones. days, national hockey right? day, national um, cheese day, yeah, national yeah. coffee day. Yeah. But that you know and and that that's fine like so if if you are kind of starting out and you need a place to start that's a great place to start if you've done the seo work and figured out where you need to be you know those calendars they don't help you right it puts you out there with everybody else who happens to be in the same category or who um is trying to do the same thing you are and so we kind of take you know this whole thing and look at it very differently we show you how to center around your keywords, how to build, um, you know, kind of like a cohesive strategy that helps you talk about what comes next, how to kind of layer things out. And then, you know, we actually talk about what campaigns look like, right? So everyone, um, besides marketing folk, usually when you say campaign, everybody's eyes kind of like cloud over because nobody understands a campaign. We talk about what that is, what that's supposed to look like, and then what all the pieces are that come with it. Um, so all of that is kind of in what we're going to talk about next week. Um, kind of stoked, um, to talk about it. Cause like lots of things come out of, um, you know, how you do that, when you do that. Um, and then, and then what kind of, 
um, what to expect when that stuff starts to happen. Right, Kenny? So I, think, I think to me, because I'll, I'll, I'll go, because, you know, I want to go in. Yeah. Is <laughs> I, I think what, why you, again, you, I really like if you came to this one, obviously, but this one or anybody else, it doesn't matter as long as it's, it's the content that they're talking about is the same, it's really important. If you don't have understanding of some of these these things and you don't start thinking this way, you are going to get trapped into um, some of the agencies and marketing groups out there that mm -hmm. really are going to do you a disservice. There's phenomenal ones out there that will walk you through the whole process and just tell you things and go through it. And mm -hmm. there's others that will not spend that time because it takes time and would rather just say, listen, yep, yeah, here you go. Uh, this is what we're going to do. This is how I do SEO. Uh, here's your retainer for the month. Here's the retainer for all the ads we're going to do. And we're going to go drive people with all these ads. And for most people, shit, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what we should do. Right? These people are going to do all the marketing and all the marketing, all the marketing. And all they do is they develop a calendar and post a lot of stuff. Is it coherent? Nobody knows. Are the keywords being used properly? Nobody knows. Um, is, is the content driving what you want to drive, talking to who you want to talk to? Because you have this, you know, yeah. it is, I, know, I know you don't want to get into the slagging of the agencies because it's not all agencies, yeah. but it's enough of them where it's a problem is the service should be really trying to help the client do this properly without spending yeah. a shit ton of money unnecessarily. That's why I don't why I get agitated with the, the yeah. whole concept yeah. of this because I think if people just had a little more understanding of this little knowledge, you could go then talk to an agency or marketing people whoever's properly and maybe not drop five to ten grand a month. You might be able to do this a lot more economically yeah. and your cost of acquisition being much more in line. I, I think the other half of that, right, is the work that we've we've done on SEO and then the work we're trying to do here. It's also because as a brand, I, I get that like a lot of brand owners or CEOs or founders, they're not marketing people. They're they're people who found a need and built a product, right? Right. But like we did. You yeah, yeah. But you but you need to you need to own this stuff, right? Because you can't the the words what we call keywords, right? The words that are really important to you and your business, the words that people search for. Um, that lead them to you, you need to own those words and then you need to know what those words are. Like, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a founder, whether really you're care the, who you are, you know, you, you need to know them before you turn over what you do to an agency. Otherwise you will lose that, right? Because Absolutely. agencies, you know, the good ones in particular will educate you back, but they're also kind of not, it's kind of because they're deep into it. it it's, kind of not their job too, right? Like the good ones will educate you because they realize a smarter client is a better client. And it's a long-term client. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, if they don't, they kind of go, okay, great. So you told me these are the words I'm going to use. I'm going to go use them, right? And so if you don't know, it's kind of the, you don't know what you don't know. So if you don't exactly. know that you need to own your words, they don't know that either. Or they what does that mean? That is you know what you're supposed to do right, right? and there. i think that's yeah. the trick is understand yeah. what and even okay let's say you went in the other way and you didn't know what that means that you have to be able to ask that yeah so yeah. if they come back and say what keywords you are allowed to say i don't know how you're talking about yeah 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 right? tell me what the difference is and, like and they should you know, be able to walk yeah. you through that and a better agency or a better marketing person will yeah. do that as opposed to what they unfortunately seem to do or have a tendency to do which is write down run down retainer path and run down yeah. google ads yeah. Right yeah. or down yeah. a calendar and based on like you said, I mean we we have T. Does it does it really matter if it's National Hockey Day? Probably not. Do I give a shit? Probably not. Yeah. What's what? Yeah. Who cares what the national day is of yeah. anything? I mean, build yeah. your campaigns around what your customers want yeah. out of you and your product. Yeah. Now, if that happens to fit around the day, that's that's okay. Yeah. That's maybe even better. Yeah. But it's not catastrophic if it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it, I I think all of those things are really important. We're we're gonna cover a lot of that in this session. We're gonna talk about. We're we're also gonna just take apart a campaign calendar, um, a content calendar, so that it really does make some real time sense. Like so, it won't be theoretics. We've got some real examples in there. We'll show you how we do things. 
Um, we'll show you how we think about them. We've got some pro tips in there. So um, if you can join us, we'd, we'd love it. Love um, to have you. Yeah, we'll awesome. leave the sign up link below. Um, you know, and uh, but but we'd love to see you there because I think these are kind of important things that you should understand before you go out and, and engage an agency. It'll help you or anybody marketing understand yeah, an correct. agency. Correct. Yeah. Understand your marketing yeah. before you have someone explain it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least have the basics. Okay. That is yeah. our yeah. fast thought. Um, thank you. We we hope to see you. Hope uh, to see you next week. Right. Hang on. So, so let me just tell you what the dates are because you're probably going, what day? What day? So it's going to be April the 20th between uh, 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. PST. Um, How do you so, sign up? So, what and then I, I'll leave the link below. You okay. need to go to, um, you need to go to bcfb.ca slash events, and then you'll see how to build a content calendar that drives SEO. Um, so, so go there and then, and then you'll, you'll be able to find us, but yep. the link will be below and then, uh, we hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you.